Welcome to day four of Wiser's live session supporting Healthcare Simulation Week 2020. My name is Adam Kukich and I'm the Director of Administration here at Wiser, joined today by Noreen Maboub, another member of our administrative staff. I have two goals today. One is to celebrate the sometimes unsung heroes of Simulation Centers, your administrative support staff. And we're also excited to speak a bit about Wiser's fellowship program, which Noreen helps to coordinate. When we host professional development programs and fellows at Wiser, one question that I am often asked is, how do you decide how to hire administrative support? Well, sometimes that question has a financial component to it. Other times it's about the qualifications that make the ideal administrative staff member. While I know that not all centers have the luxury of a full-time dedicated administrator, let alone a team of administrators, let me try to help you make the pitch as to why this is an essential staff position. Let's start with the idea of an administrative staff supporting a center. What are the essential support skills needed? Well, strong communicators, people who are detail-oriented, who are reliable, positive, and invested in the work. While answering phones and replying to emails is an essential job responsibility, it's a misnomer to suggest that simply anyone can do this. Quality customer service is what needs to be expected from your administrative staff as they are the face of your center. They are often the first point of contact by phone, email, or in person. They set the tone for expectations at your center. But let's circle back to answering calls and emails. This is a time-consuming process, one that often requires quick responses. While this could fall to a simulation specialist or center manager, this takes time and effort away from those staff members and their specific job responsibilities. Having an administrative staff member responsible for responding to these queries allows other staff members to stay focused and invested in their areas of expertise, maximizing their time and skill sets. Since your administrative staff is often the gatekeeper in terms of center communications, it makes sense to have them involved in the scheduling process of your center's calendar. Helping them to understand the essentials of scheduling, be it staff, equipment, consumables, space, time, etc., they become a significant support to your operations team. The more knowledgeable the administrator is to your center's operational needs, the smoother the process will go. This takes an investment and interest on the part of your administrator. They need to be excited and invested in the work that the center is doing for this to work. As stated earlier, your administrative support staff is the face of your center. They greet your learners, instructors, and other guests upon their arrival. They establish the tone for your center by providing friendly and professional customer service. Your administrative team can also help with your coordination of standardized patients. The administrator can become a familiar face when the SPs arrive, helping them to become acclimated to the space and direct them to their meeting locations. They can handle distribution of day of materials, parking validation, sign-in, and eventually become a trusted resource for the SPs. As for the procurement of supplies, be it consumables for simulations or office supplies for staff or possibly catering, your administrative team can shoulder the burden of navigating complicated requisition systems, tracking of orders, and distribution upon arrival. Since your administrative team is at the heart of your center's communication, they are also an ideal resource for your center's social media coordination. While traditional marketing is still important and effective, Social media allows your center to stay present on a daily basis with those who use your center or are simply interested in learning more about what your center is doing. Once again, effective social media involves strong communication skills and a defined strategy, but most importantly, time. Having your administrative staff involved in this process allows them to communicate exciting news about your center and helps to provide them with a sense of pride about the work that they perform for you. Lastly, while support is important, a strong administrative team needs to go beyond waiting to be asked what to do. A strong administrative team needs to anticipate needs, problem solve, and remain calm and cool under pressure. I'd like to thank Bianca Caruso, Jen Sinclair, and Noreen for being an amazing administrative dream team. And with that said, allow me to reintroduce Noreen to you, our fellowship administrator. And while she has many roles at Wiser, she is essential to the success of our fellowship program. As the fellowship administrator, I provide onboarding and orientation support for the fellowship program, 
including assistance with recruitment, advertising, navigation of the visa process for incoming international fellows, and assisting with relevant financial components. Beyond the onboarding process, I am also responsible for the implementation and coordination of the fellowship curriculum including the scheduling of courses, simulation observations, scheduling mentor meetings, coordinating the journal clubs, and providing additional administrative support. Wiser's fellowship program began in 2009 and has evolved dramatically over the past decade. Over its 11 years, our fellowship program has accepted simulationists from all over the world, with 10 countries and three continents represented. Many of our past fellows are still in touch with our program for continued mentorship, collaborative projects, and just to update us on their professional and personal achievements. Part of Wiser's mission is our commitment to the education and training of healthcare and simulation professionals around the world who have a focused portion of their professional career on becoming proficient in simulation education. We actively seek to contribute to the development, education, and mentorship of future generations of healthcare educators and researchers interested in simulation-based programs. All fellows, regardless of length of stay, participate in Wiser's Foundations, a series of classes that focus on essential elements of healthcare simulation. These classes focus on core content areas that are essential to running a simulation center. However, following this core component, fellows then choose a learning pathway that is most aligned with their goals and interests. Additionally, Wiser's main campus and eight satellite centers located within UPMC's hospital support over 2,000 classes annually. This allows us to offer our fellows ample opportunity to observe live classes both from the University of Pittsburgh Health Science Divisions as well as UPMC Patient Safety Initiatives. As with all aspects of the program, each fellow determines what their individual project will be while at Wiser. We are realistic with what can be accomplished during your stay with shorter fellowships focusing on scenario and course development while longer fellowships can culminate in posters, articles, or research. For instance, Dr. Andrew Musitz served as a fellow at Wiser and conducted important scholarly work focused on central venous catheter training for both medical and nurse anesthesia students. This project compares outcomes of expert versus non-expert instruction in simulation CVC training curriculum that he developed while in his fellowship at Wiser. Dr. Musitz presented at regional and international levels and disseminated his work in simulation healthcare with the article, Physician versus Non-Physician Instruction, Evaluating an Expert Curriculum Component Facilitator Model for Simulation-Based Central Venous Catheter Training. Dr. Musitz has now gone on to assume a leadership role in simulation education at Brown University and their affiliated medical center. While having past fellows published is quite a rewarding process for us, we also value the lifelong friendships that we establish with them. It is quite common for us to receive emails from former fellows informing us of their first course that they launched at their institution, asking for advice regarding an issue that they encountered at their simulation center, or the news of the birth of their first child. Please feel free to contact us if you would like additional information on our fellowship program or if you have any questions. Well, we thank you for listening to us uh, discuss a little bit about uh, the importance of administrative team uh, to a simulation center. And Noreen, as I had mentioned, has been uh, essential in our development of our fellowship program. And we have uh, many exciting things uh, coming up in the near future as in regards to uh, new news uh, regarding our fellowship program. I'm just going to leave that there as a teaser. <laughs> but uh, one thing I, I would like to circle back on uh, is some additional roles of, it, uh, of the administrative staff. And, uh, you know, you've heard about COVID from, you know, many people uh, as far as how it's impacted simulation centers. But we've also had that impact our, our administrative staff as well. Initially, it was setting up those uh, Zoom and team meetings uh, during the initial lockdown. But once we returned on site, there were many other areas that uh, administration had to, to assist with. Uh, Noreen, do you want to uh, attest to some of those? Uh, we had a lot of, you know, maintaining with guidelines and cleaning and sanitation of space uh, with different signage as well because we wanted to keep flow of the uh, entire center in one certain way. So 
and also scheduling and rescheduling for like new training and pre-existing courses was a big part of our whole project and process mm -hmm. of evolving with the whole COVID situation that was going on. So yeah. it was a new learning experience, but. Yeah, and it definitely was not a lull <laughs> by no. any stretch no, of the imagination. No, definitely not. Um, one area that I did not uh, speak about was my role as the Director of, of Administration here at Wiser. Uh, a big chunk of my time is spent as sort of an HR liaison. Uh, I'm uh, very Im involved in recruitment, hiring, onboarding, and uh, termination of uh, employees, uh, hopefully usually for good reasons, like they're moving on to you know, something else. Um, performance evaluations uh, fall into my, my wheelhouse, uh, system-wide training initiatives, uh, professional development opportunities, finding those uh, opportunities for our staff. Uh, and then of course, uh, time cards and payroll. Uh, very tedious, but very important. Everybody likes to receive their paycheck on time. Uh, budget and purchase approvals. Uh, a lot of that falls uh, to me as well as marketing and uh, our business development. So, uh, you know, again, all of those uh, tasks that fall to me with the exception of a lot of the HR stuff, I still pull on my resources, which are my incredible staff and other, other uh, long-term wiser staff members. Uh, another role that I feel that is really important to the administrative staff is keeping up staff morale. And uh, I have, again, amazing resources uh, with Jen, Bianca, and Noreen uh, as far as how to uh, keep people happy here. And Noreen, maybe you could talk about a little bit of the things that you, you guys have done over the past year or two. Uh, it's always nice to keep things fun and light. So uh, along with the rest of our team, we have come up with different occasions to bring staff morale up. For example, last year in October, we had a little pumpkin carving contest with, among our staff. and. With that even, we included having students and faculty who came in vote alongside with just our staff. So that was kind of fun. Cause and Jen was able to pull the Pitt Panther yeah. down to actually yeah, pass the ballot. Yeah, that was a surprise guest <laughs> that we got. We all enjoyed that too. Yeah. So um, it's just fun little things that kind of, you know, take the seriousness away from everything and make the environment light and fun. Uh, and then along with that a holiday party that we did, we, we spent a decent amount of time and, and mm -hmm. effort and we had fun with it too. So we made sure that all staff was included and that everybody, we made sure that we could include everybody and keep everybody up in good spirit. So yeah. it's always just a fun thing to do and, and keeps the team together. Yeah. So uh, thank you once again for joining us and for supporting Healthcare Simulation Week. Tomorrow to conclude the Wiser Live series for Healthcare Simulation Week 2020, please join us at 2 p.m. for a conversation on in-situ simulation and mock codes featuring our very own manager of simulation services, Marty Mayer, and our simulation specialist, Clinton Clegg. Thank you. <laughs>